Okay, this is the MSP430 counter and an Agilent 5334A counter. And we're just going to look at how close these two are to each other. They're both connected to the same Agilent 8165A signal generator, which will do about 1 millihertz to 50 megahertz. <clears throat> right now at 10 megahertz, the MSP430 counter is reading a little low by about 200 hertz and the Agilent counter is reading high by about 150 hertz. And I have no idea which one is closer because neither are calibrated, nor is the signal generator. Uh, so let's try some other frequencies. Moving down to, uh, let's see, we'll try uh, 1 megahertz. And again, they're both, one's a little low, one's a little high. But they're, they're both generally correct. Go down to, uh, let's see here, one uh, kilohertz. Now you notice the MSP430 counter has switched to a one second gate time. And it'll do that a little under one megahertz. We go back up to, uh, oops, one uh, megahertz here. You can see it switches back to 250 millisecond gate. And, uh, oops. There's 1,234 hertz. If you notice, the, the, the Agilent counter here is actually providing a full nine digits resolution. Even though there's only 1,234 pulses per second, this has additional resolution because it's a reciprocal counter. And there is 16 megahertz, which is the upper limit for the uh, MSP430. And if we try... Oops. 17 megahertz. Oh, that works. 17 works. And 18 works. Try 20. That goes all the way up to 20. It's pretty good, about what I expected. I've, I've been able to clock the CPU at, at pretty close to 20. Oh, even 22 works. That's 